Lördags eftermiddagen fortsätter med något för alla hockeyälskare. Höjdpunkterna från veckans NHL. Sändningen från veckans NHL presenteras av McDonalds. I'm Mike Modano and you're watching NHL Power Week. Den här veckan visar Mike Modanos lagkamrat Brett Hall att han fortfarande förfogar över en unik känsla. And the break the other way stars a chance to go up by another score! Och så ger sig Pittsburgh Penguins forward Alexei Kovalev ut på äventyr. Sisman 9 or 2 Lima Charlie, what's just town on way 3 to 4? Everybody prepare for landing. Surprise to the seal belt. Bland alla de duktiga, icke-amerikanska spelare som finns i NHL tittar vi idag till några checker. Och så vanligt, en hel del action. Men först ska vi ta oss en titt på den östra divisionen. Bostons legendariska försvarare Ray Bourque inriktade sig på att nå ännu en milstolpe mot Ottawa. Han var bara två assists från en tredje plats genom tiderna. Efter 5-2-segen fortsatte hans jakt, denna gång mot Goldie Hose gamla lag. Red Wings gain control, Kroot clears to the near point, Bork, great job to keep it in for Allison. Allison to Samsonov, Sergei Samsonov to Jason Allison. Allison with a little roll, Samsonov in front stop. Ray Bork gets the assist, number 1050, a stand. The Red Wings are leaning over their bench and tapping their sticks on the boards. Big win over the Detroit Red Wings. Ray Bork passes Gordy Howe. Has to be left them in the dust. Mats Sundins Toronto Maple Leafs gav sina fans valuta för pengarna när de mötte Phoenix Coyotes. A lead pass brings Corey. Efter segern med 5-2 såg laget fram emot att möta Rangers på hemmaplan. Maple Leafs vann till slut med 7-4 och förstörde därmed Wayne Gretzkys kväll. Han får trösta sig med att vara med i The Play of the Week. Devils Dave Andrechuk ska också han uppmärksammas. Hans passningsspel imponerar. Johanssons mål var snyggt, men hans lagkamrat Alexej Yashin förtjänar ännu mer beröm. Only a handful of guys in the NHL 
to do what Alexi Yashin just did. Nu ska vi få bekanta oss lite extra med Pittsburgh Penguins Alexei Kovalev. Kovalev shooting, he scores! Alexei Kovalev, a rocket over the right shoulder of Grant Fuhrer for Kovalev. Kovalev cuts in front, he takes a shot, he scores! 4-1 Pittsburgh, Alexei Kovalev, second of the period. Well, you don't see many players schooling here, Terzion, like Alexei Kovalev just did. Alexei studerade länge för att till slut nå sitt mål att bli pilot och få mästra sitt eget plan. Hi, this uh, checklist uh, which is after use uh, all the time uh, during pre-flight check, uh, before take off, after landing, uh, you know, you have to always use and make sure you're not forgetting anything else. Emergency when the airplane crashed, so this then hits uh, ground and uh, gives a signal so you know where you are. Allt verkar vara i sin ordning, då återstår bara en sak. Uh, looks like you're ready. Uh, let's go fight. Dishes and drama, Cessna 92, Lima Charlie, Panorama Taxi with uh, Juliet. Runway 2-9-er, clear for takeoff, traffic corner in position on 34. Clear for takeoff to Lima Charlie. Cessna 9 or 2 Lima Charlie, Westchester Tower, runway 34, clear to land. Everybody prepare for landing. Press the seal belts. Really important airspeed because sometimes the uh, winds and uh, really hard, so air, airspeed drop, drop so hard. I mean, so so fast, so you have to watch out airspeed. That's all by it. How do you like the landing? The important thing is I want to hear is uh, you know how you like my landing. <laughs> That's the most important for, uh, for a pilot. You know anybody can take it off and just fly it, but you know first uh, really important is uh, make sure you're safe. Uh, you land safe. So. Hey, what's the saying? Takeoffs are optional, landings are mandatory. <laughs> I never heard that before. Fedorov is onside. Fedorov against Johansson. Gets the shot. Oh, he scores! Sergei Fedorov beat Ola Kolzig to give the Red Wings a 2 to 1 lead. What a move by Fedorov. New York Islanders fick en riktig julklapp i veckan när Sigmund Palfrey skrev på ett femårskontrakt. Förra året var han lagets bästa poänggörare. Donald Odette draftades i veckan av Buffalo till Los Angeles Kings. Och målvaktsdominanten Dominic Hasek har utsätts till veckans spelare i NHL för sina insatser. Han leder målvaktsligan i såväl att hålla nollan, antal räddningar och segrar. Några mindre roliga nyheter nu. Colorados lagkapten Joe Sackick har skadat axeln. Han beräknas vara borta i minst tio dagar. He goes into the corner with big Donald Brochier. The right shoulder goes under and that's where he hurt it. Och Maple Leafs back Daniel Markov har också skadat axeln. Hans skada var så allvarlig att han får hålla sig borta från isen mellan två och fyra veckor. Och Washington får försöka klara sig utan forwarden Chris Simon i närmare ett halvår sedan han tvingats operera sin axelskada. St. Louis Blues, Pierre Turchon, kommer inte heller han att spela på ett bra tag sedan han brutit handleden. Nu går vi över till Western Conference. Stars Brett Hall mötte sina gamla lagkamrater i St. Louis Blues för första gången i år. Ett möte han såg fram emot. Stars 
Men St. Louis utjämnade genom mål av Mike Eastwood och Terry Yake. Efter det vilade ansvaret på Brett Hall. Skulle han kunna ge sitt lag ledningen igen? He goes back on top to Sador. Sador, a wrister. Score! Tipped in, I believe, by Hall. Brett Hall got his stick up and deflected it. Oh, baby, is that pretty. Men Stars 3-2-ledning blev inte långlivad. Och det såg den här killen till. Faced into the zone a little deeper, trying to tie it up. Shot! Score! What a wrister! Pasquale Rayo! Men Dallas kom tillbaka ännu en gång. Och det var Brett Hall som stod för underhållningen. And the break the other way, Stars a chance to go up by another. First shot on Brett to our Brett Hall against his former teammate. Stars Joe Nyvandijk gjorde sen sitt andra mål för kvällen och gav sitt Dallas seger med 7-3. Det var Dallas 18 seger för säsongen och deras fjärde seger de senaste sex matcherna. Dallas stod sen emot sina arkerivaler, Detroit Red Wings. Stars hade vunnit de tidigare två mötena och såg fram emot ett hattrick. I San Jose tog Sharks emot Colorado som ställde upp utan skadade Joe Sackick. Utan sin lagkapten var Colorado ett perfekt byte för ett gäng hungriga hajar. Här kommer Norton. Läppte. En skott på gång. Sharks had an odd man rush, now they score! Joe Murphy! And it's 2-0! Matchen slutade 2-1 till Sharks som därmed tog sin andra raka seger. The play of the week här kommer från en kung på stark frammarsch. Up by Berard, but he gave it away and here's Rosa in a row, he scores! A Berard giveaway and Pablo Rosa's second goal of the night. En annan inte helt enkel situation är straffsituationen, men den kan vara väl så vacker. Nu ska ni få träffa Calgary Flames Steve Smith som är tillbaka efter ett år på bänken. We are here with Calgary Flames defenseman Steve Smith and Steve thank you so much for having us in your lovely home here. Now not only are you a professional athlete and have the challenges that go along with that but you have the challenges of raising four kids. It's a pretty good situation for me. It's fun. It keeps me on my toes. Though. What about the balance of a full-time pro sports career and Spending time and being with your family is, is, is it tough to keep it all in balance? Uh, I, I don't find it tough. I think that uh, it's it's a great thing because there's lots of real real difficult times in the game of hockey. There's lots of ups and downs, and I think that what's important is that when I come home at the end of the day, my kids don't care whether we won, whether we lost, whether I was the best player, whether I was the worst player. They want to know how'd you do, Dad? Did you have fun? The same things that I asked them. Did you know that kind of thing? And 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 it really brings it to light that uh, hey, maybe. The, that game tonight wasn't the most important thing in your life that, that, that your kids are the most important thing. Kind of keeps it all in perspective, doesn't it? Sure it sure does. It's a great feeling when you get home to it. There's been a lot of changes in, in your life in the last few years. And before the start of, of last season, you made the decision to retire. How hard was it to make that decision, and, and why did you decide to retire? Well, it was, it was probably the most difficult decision that I've ever had to make. Smitty! Congratulations, buddy. Hell of a career, buddy. It was a pleasure playing with you. You know that? It was a pleasure. I felt like the rug was pulled out from under me because of an injury I had to walk away from the game that I love so much. So then you decide, okay, I'm doing this assistant coaching thing, and, and I think I'd like to, to come back into the game as a player. What motivated you to make that decision 
to put your body through the rigors of playing such a physical game. I think the year off certainly did benefit, I did benefit from it. I think my body just giving it the rest, the rest time that it needed, my back felt 100% better. As the, game, as the year pro progressed last year, I was practicing with the guys. I, I was hungry to be out there all the time. I was having fun playing, and my back stopped hurting. You know, that was, it was plain and simple. Your rookie year, you played in Edmonton. And you had a very intense experience there in the 86 playoffs. Oh, they score! Oh, Steve Smith, in attempting to get it out of his own zone, put it in the net! How did you get through all that, especially at such a young age? I think it was, it, there's no doubt that it was, a, it was a humbling experience. And from that point on in my career, no matter what happened, it didn't seem to phase me. Looking back on it now, I think it was a, it was a good thing for me. It made me a much stronger player, a well, much stronger person. You were devastated that day, and then fast forward a year later, Wayne Gretzky's handing you the Stanley Cup. That had to be amazing. Look at this picture. Steve Smith, a year ago. I don't have to remind you of what happened in the seventh game against Calgary. Gets a chance to raise it. It was a shock to me, and the guys from the team tell me after that they had it planned. I was the youngest guy, and maybe because of what happened the year before, I'm really not certain what the plan was, but as long as I get to hold it somewhere along the line, and he took it from the president of the league then, John Ziegler, and said, Smitty, take it and go. It's very interesting. This the whole thing's kind of come full circle. I mean, there you were, very successful career in Edmonton, big rivalry with Calgary assistant coach at Calgary, now you're playing for Calgary. You've had an interesting life, and, and it's good to see you back out on the ice, and thanks a lot, and not only good luck in your career, good luck with those four kids. Thank you very <laughs> much. Nu ska vi titta närmare på några tjeckiska lirare. I strålkastarljuset den här veckan står bland annat Petro Nedved. Hans ankomst till Rangers har betytt mycket för laget. Peter Nedved brings it along. Nedved over the islander line. Quick shot, he scores! The Nedved wrist shot beats Tommy Salom. Great pass by Nedved here. And John McClain just blasted it in. Works it to Sundstrom in the corner. Centers for Nedved, he scores! That is a dynamite shot. Nedved has made 14 points for the team in 12 matches. In Edmonton, we find Joseph Beranek, who has returned to the NHL after one year's frånvaro. Off the board, Veronica will pick it up for the Oilers and across the line. Stop the shot, scores! And here's a two on one. Veronica closing. And a shot, score! Joseph Veronica again, top shelf. Veronica, which showed some really quick hands. Boom! Man, what a goal scorer's goal that was. Veronica, five man rush with Lindgren. Veronica can't score! Eftersom Oilers Doug Waits är skadad har Beranek fått ta ett större ansvar. Det speglas i hans poäng, 8 mål och 22 poäng totalt. Pittsburghs Robert Lang är en annan spelare som är bra på att få saker att hända. Jarmir Jager with the Penguins. In front score. There's Robert Lang set up by Jarmir Jager. Here come the Penguins again in front. Lang makes it 2 to nothing. Robert Lang just directs it behind Tommy Zeno. Top open, 2 on 1. Titoff leaves it. Lang shot. Score! The turn! Penguins pull their goaltender, gets the extra attack around in front of quick shot by Lang, and gets the goal. Pounded by Sundstrom, shot by Lang, he scores! What a shot! Lang has made 11 goals and 19 points so far. Peter Sikora continues to develop as a real star in New Jersey. Sikora to Elias, back across now for the play to Sikora, it's goal! Peter Sakara. I don't know how that puck got in the net. I mean, Sakara just wrapped it around quickly. Morris with the man breaking Sakara. Score! Oh, I leap past the high of the fence. Sakara, man, hook gets the shot away. Scores! Great effort by Peter Sakara. Man, oh man, eighth goal of the year, second goal tonight. Man, jeepers. Med tanke på att vi är mitt upp i julfirandet bjuder vi på en specialare fylld med action från veckan som gått. Som synes, det finns gott om julgodis att visa. Now it is drilled.
pulled in by Leach. Rodor with it. Flip one out. Julen är gåvornas tid, men de här grabbarna ger ingenting gratis. Brune, looking through the traffic, shoots, side of the net, Gorsen shoots, head stop, another shot, it's still loose. Poibu works it across. Oh, what a stretch and a stop by Abby Bullen on Jonas Hoagland. People came right out of their seats. Mike Richter spectacular. That may make an appearance and saves the win, so keep your eyes peeled. Here's Krivo Krasov back in the net. He works out front, getting set, goes to his forehand, backhand. Snow comes up with the save. Are you kidding me? Here's Donato shooting one, and a save by Vernon. Rebound Barron, kick save by Vernon. Briere goes wide, center, shot stopped by Joseph. Rebound in front, Briere stopped by Joseph. Another chance, Joseph has lost the stick. Another shot to fly by goal. He tried to catch that with his blocking hand. I NHL tar man ingen som helst hänsyn till att man ska vara snäll om tomten ska komma. Oh man. Mm. Oh goodness gracious. That's a real good solid hard hit. Oh yeah, yeah. It's 